a nightmare to be honest. It is a distribution arm of um, Sephron. We own this operation. So it's a part, I mean, it's where most of um, the location you see now is where the warehousing, the merchandising division is. Lots of the goods are here, and that's where a lot of our distribution um, originate from here. This is obviously a massive, a massive impact on the operation. I mean, yeah, it's like a nightmare to be honest. But um, they heard about it, I mean, um, for security call, because there's no activity today, I mean, obviously. There's no activity going on. We're not too sure how it originated. I mean, it's early days. The fire trucks are still trying to contain the contain the fire. I'm trying to. There's no wind, no loss of life or anything. No, no danger to anyone. But right now, there's about containment. But you know, you're hearing a lot of the. You see the goods burning. You see, you know, it's, it's a major, major blow, especially in a situation where we're having so much supply chain issues in terms of supply and such. So We'll get through this, you know. I mean, we'll, we'll, first of all, let's contain it, let's assess in the morning, and then have a plan of action to recover. The fire, fire team is here, I mean, they're trying to contain, but I mean, so far, it's, you know, it's, okay, it's been a hell of a fight. Overhearing the conversations among some of your employees here, they're worried about Monday morning. I'm worried now. <laughs> but all the, yeah, you know, this is, you know, this, this, this is not nothing that any of us want. I mean, it's just a part of the, it's a very, very unfortunate situation, a very tough situation for us. I mean, right now, I'm just, let's just get, just step by step now. I can't even process too much, but we're going to get through it. We're going to recover. I mean, obviously, our employees, there are lots of people have turned out, they come from their home. I mean, there's not much you can do except look on, you know, trying to start assessing already how we're going to recover, what we're going to do. We have our customers, our consumers to satisfy, and factories to keep running. So, I mean, yeah, I, I can understand why they're worried, I am also, but, you know, we have to go into the mindset of recovery and, you know, understand next steps. And in terms of your uh, storage facilities, are there any alternatives to this? Yeah, so we have, you know, we have other locations in Marcus Garvey, etc. But, I mean, obviously, this is a major loss of storage, I mean. So we do, there, we're going to have to find additional storage, there's no question about that. I mean, we are in the process of building out new warehousing space, which will be finished until the first quarter next year, 2022. This will obviously affect some supply. I mean, there's no question about it, especially early into next week, next week possibly. But, um, yeah, at, we have a good team, and um, a res resilient team, and we will recover, and we will supply.